I was self-conscious about showing my prosthetic legs in public because I wanted to look like everyone else and I wanted to blend in. I didn't want to look like Iron Man. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm talking about my views on body image and body confidence as a double amputee. In society, there's often a pressure to conform to beauty standards and look a certain way and it took me a long time to learn to embrace my differences. Social media also creates an added pressure while people often forget that individuals put the best versions of themselves out on social media. Also, there's a lack of representation of disabled people in the mainstream media. It's great now that there are more disabled content creators online and on social media but when I was growing up it wasn't the case. I believe it's important to see other people who look like you because it promotes inclusivity and a sense of acceptance. Growing up as a double empathy above the knee, I had prosthetic legs with total knees and these were straight like a pole. My prosthetists always put foam covers over them and then stockings on top because of how they looked. Then in 2017 I got sea legs for with micro prosthetic knees. These are gold colour and they're designed to look more like the shape of my actual lower leg compared to my old prosthetic legs. But I still thought they looked weird and I wanted them to be covered up. I didn't want to look like Iron Man. I was self-conscious about showing my prosthetic legs in public because I wanted to look like everyone else and I wanted to blend in. So my prosthetics put foam covers over my legs and also stockings on top of them. However, obviously legs fall, they have to be charged every night and I didn't have to charge my old prosthetic legs. So my prosthetics had to cut a hole in the foam to enable me to be able to plug the charger into my legs. And then the area around the foam was covered with a bit of leather to help it stick out less and I thought it looked good when I wore my outfits but when I wore things like jeans, skirts or dresses or tight trousers it would be visible from the back of my prosthetic legs and you could see like this bump and eventually I became self-conscious about it so I rarely wore skirts or dresses. At one point my mum suggested to me that I should have the foam covers removed but I was totally against it. Then in January 2020 I made a decision to have the foam covers removed this was at one of my prosthetic appointments. These are photos comparing what my prosthetic legs look like with foam covers and then without foam covers. I decided to do this because I realised I hadn't fully accepted myself and it was holding me back in many areas. I thought that by removing the foam covers it would help me to be more free and also increase my confidence. Although I was terrified about this decision, what helped me was to find and look at other double amputees and amputees on social media such as Instagram who are showing their prosthetic legs in their outfits and this encouraged me to be able to do it myself as well. So the first time I wore a dress showing my prosthetic legs in public, I was nervous, but I did it. I went better than I expected, and it was the best decision I ever made. Since then, I haven't gone back to having the foam covers on, and now I feel free to wear different outfits when I want that show my prosthetic legs, and also I wear a variety of outfits too. But I've had to adjust to some people staring at me when I do wear outfits that show my prosthetic legs. What are you looking at? What? What are you looking at? I'll talk about fashion as a double amputee in another video. These are my tips on how to be body confident as an amputee or just generally. Learn that you're beautiful no matter how you look, whether you look different or if you're missing a limb or even multiple limbs. Embrace who you are and being different is unique. But not everyone will accept you for who you are and that's okay. It's their loss and these people are ignorant and they're not worth your time. Also if you are struggling about how you look or just dealing with your disability or other circumstances in general. It helps to find other people in your situation. So this can be online, through like social media, or even in your communities or if there's any other groups available. Additionally, if you're an amputee and you want to show your prosthetic leg or prosthetic legs out in public and it's like your first time and you're nervous about it, what you could do is find an outfit that shows your prosthetic legs and wear it in public for the first time and see how you feel about it. And then if you feel uncomfortable, just take some time out and then try again another time and wear another outfit and then gradually with time you'll feel better about yourself and just build up gradually so you can ease into it. Another thing that helps with being confident I find is to wear cute outfits or accessories such as a good piece of jewellery and it can even be a cute bag or backpack, something that makes you feel good about yourself. But you should know that some days you won't be feeding yourself and you just have to work through those days and keep going. Overall, all amputees are different and it is an amputee's personal choice if they want to have foam covers or share their prosthetic legs. But for me, having the foam covers removed has been great. Don't waste your life's purpose worrying about your body. This is your vessel, it's your house, it's where you live. You don't, there's no point in charging it. Absolutely no point. 
but it's very hot. <laughs> Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like the video and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And hit the bell to get notified when I first upload new videos. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video.